Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. My name is Blaine and this is The Cave. Today we're doing another Conquering the Collection video. So I've devised a plan on how to pick the next feature for every video. So what I've done is I've gone into a random number generator and I've put a couple criteria in. So uh, let, me, let me just show you. So this shelf has six different shelves on it, okay? So what I have done is I've put one to six in the generator, and then what I will do is put... <laughs> this, is, this is where it gets a little fun. So one to six, whichever row it picks, I'll go to that specific row, and then count how many movies are in there, and then put that number in the generator and randomize it. So I've gone ahead and done our first number, and it picked row number six. So down here we do have 76 movies, or at least 76 uh, cases, um, and the random number that was generated was 67. So I don't know what we're going to watch yet, but I'm going to count down uh, here. So... 76, 75, 74, 73, 72, 71, 70, 69, 68, 67. As above, so below. So this is a movie that I have seen. My wife and I watched it um, at the beginning of the pandemic, actually, and uh, we really enjoyed it. So this is the first of our rewatches in the series. So let's pop this sucker in. So before we watch this again, I'm just going to go ahead and give you my thoughts on uh, the first viewing that I had of the movie. Um, I really like this movie, uh, at least from what I remember of it. Um, at, at the beginning of the film, I wasn't sold on um, just the acting and, and the way the, the story was playing out. But as, as it gets going... Uh, it really starts to get good. Um, I love found footage, so I've got a sweet spot for it. It may be my favorite horror genre, which horror is my favorite genre in general. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's it's a good one. It, it is kind of creepy. Um, it's not for everybody, but if you just turn your brain off and uh, try to enjoy it, um, then I think it'll be a pretty good time. Uh, especially if you do like found footage. If you don't, it might not be for you, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and watch this again, and we will see what I think about it. Conquering the Collection, Volume 2, is now finished. As above, so below. This is one that I had seen before. Um, I didn't get to see it when it first released in 2014. Um, I saw the trailers and just, oh man, I really, really wanted to see it, but never got a chance to get out and do that. Um, but I did get to watch it a few years back. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, this go around, this is my second watch through of the movie, and I've got to say, I enjoyed it again. Um, I'm glad that this rewatch, uh, kind of cemented my enjoyment of the movie. Uh, it's not great by any means, but, um, it does have some enjoyment, there is enjoyment to be had. Um, I really specifically like the just the creepy factor of of this one. It is found footage, so it's not for everyone. Like I said, I love found footage movies. Um, 
and I was really nervous at the beginning when they started just the 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 whole planning the journey, planning the adventure type thing. I, I really wasn't on board for that last time, and this time I wasn't either, but I'm glad I stuck in last time so that this time I knew, hey, it's going to get better. Um, but I really, really did love the... I, I don't know, the the religious uh, symbolism here. I just really, really enjoy watching anything that has to do with uh, the layers of hell um, and uh, kind of ancient iconography. Uh, it really, it, it does it for me. I don't know, I'm a sucker for, for history. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's a good one. It, it nails when it is trying to be creepy, I think. Uh, it does it really, really well. Um, with the the whole catacombs, um, the the cave system itself, uh, the uh, kind of different things that happen to these uh, characters, uh, the I don't know, just each character has a specific fear or specific uh, thing that they need to reconcile with, um, uh, or or that they need retribution for, and. It's, it's just really interesting how the movie plays with that notion uh, and how the um, screenwriter and uh, the director, the actors, how, how it all just plays out and comes together. Um, I think it is is a good movie. Um, of course, it's not you know the best found footage I've ever seen. It's not the best um, cave movie, I guess, a weird niche uh, genre, uh, subgenre. But it is good. It's a good one. Um, so for that reason, I am going to plant this in the recommend uh, pile. So uh, definitely check this one out. Um, don't be fooled by the beginning. Uh, it does get better. Now it does begin sort of like a, I don't know, uh, the mummy or, you know, Indiana Jones or Uncharted type. Um, but it does go in a, a bit of a different direction. It, it's kind of a blending of, honestly, uh, Indiana Jones and uh, Dante's Inferno. I don't know. That That's kind of where I see this. Um, so, check it out. It's good. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep this one in the collection. And uh, I enjoyed this rewatch so thank you so much for for stopping in with me and uh volume three is coming out um hopefully sooner rather than later hello oh okay all right um this is murphy murphy do you have anything to say to the people i guess not oh. okay you heard it here first folks thanks so much for stopping in and uh be sure to let me know your thoughts let me know if you enjoyed this movie uh if you've seen it and um until next time always remember when the street light comes on come on home